Okay, so we're now going to work on the next three problems. We have a scarf is made of 65% cotton. If the scarf weighs 18 ounces, then how much cotton is the scarf? Guys, it is very important that you are reading the entire question. Ask yourself, what do I know? Okay, how do I set up this proportion? This is a part whole, part whole, just like we have been doing. Okay. In this situation, we know that the part of our percent is 65%. We know that 100 is the whole of a percent. Okay, that, that is something else that we know. Okay, if the scarf weighs 18 ounces, well, that's the whole, it weighs 18 ounces. Then what percent or how much cotton is in the scarf? This is what we do not know. Okay, we do not know the 65%. what amount that is okay what number that is so now i'm going to cross multiply eighteen times sixty five equals one hundred times x okay we come over here it's forty that times four is nine Okay, then I'm going to scratch it out because I'm done with it. I need to leave my placeholder. 6 times 8 is 48. 6, 7, 8, that's 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay. Let's see here. Oops, it cut off. Okay. So I have 1,170. Okay. And there's a multiplication. So now I need to go ahead and divide. I'm going to have one... 1170 equals 100x. I need to isolate that variable. My denominator goes on the outside. My numerator goes on the inside. Okay. I know that 100 will not fit into 1. 100 will not fit into 11. 100 will fit into 117 one time. Same thing, it'll go one time. Okay, well, it can't fit into that. I need to go ahead and add a zero. 100 will go into 700 seven times. My answer is 11 and 7 tenths. So I'm going to write this here. Okay. A concert venue sells 16% of its tickets as reserved seats. An upcoming concert sells 8,000 tickets. How many tickets are reserved? So we know 16% out of 100, right? We know that they sold 8,000 tickets total. That was their total amount that they sold, right? What we don't know is that 16%. We do not know the part that was held, 
Okay. So I'm going to do eight thousand times sixteen equals one hundred times x. Okay, guys, we know we gotta come down here. Zero 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 forty eight. Okay. Placeholder, because I'm now in the tens place. Zero 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 eight. Okay. And that's twelve. So that's going to be one hundred twenty eight thousand equals one hundred X. I need to isolate that variable. So I'm going to do, I'm going to divide. Okay. 100 on the outside. 100 will go into 128 once. Go into 280 twice. It'll go in 808 times, and it'll go into 0, 0 times. My answer is 1,280, 1,280. Okay. 1,280 tickets were reserved. Okay. Out of 350 students, 315 went on the class field trip. Well, okay. What percent of the students did not go on the class field trip? Did not go. So what I need to figure out is I need... I need to find out, well, what is the amount that did not go? So... 315 went, so I'm going to do 350, which is the total, minus 315 left on the field trip. They went, okay? That's going to leave me 35 stayed, okay? So 35 out of 350 stay behind, and I need to find that percent, okay? So I'm going to do 35 times 100 equals 350. Okay, 35 times 100, guys, is 3,500 equals 350x. Okay, that'll go one time. That'll go zero times, and we are done. It'll, it is 10% stayed behind. 10% stayed behind.